Oh, hi. Um, you want a collection room tour, you say? Oh, um, well, I guess I could do that if you really want to, but to be honest, I don't really have anything to do today, so you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Hey guys, welcome back, and today is the video you have been waiting for, for like the past month. Actually, I've probably said I wanted to do it for over a year now, but, uh, yeah. We're gonna be finally doing it, because I've waited like the past month to actually be able to do it, because, to be honest, my collection was a mess. It was not organized at all. So, um, yeah, I actually got it all organized and really nice looking. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on it, so I'd really, really appreciate it if you watched the video all the way through, because I spent so much time and hard work trying to, like, I literally put, like, we put up a shelf, we put together a display case just for this video. Okay, not just for this video, just for, uh, the collection to look nice, but you get the idea. It was a lot of work getting this, getting to this video, basically, and I finally can, so, yay. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, basically, here, let me zoom out, zoom out a little bit. As you can see, it's very low quality, but that is my first wall of collection. Which we will go over, we'll go over all the different, uh, shelves and everything. And then over here, we've got another shelf. And down here, some more shelf. So, pretty cool. And then, uh, there's my bed and my cat. And she's right there. Hi, Bella. What are you doing? Why are you in my room? I thought you weren't in here. Hello. Yeah, I know, you want to be petted constantly, but I can't because I have stuff to do. Yeah, that's my cat. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the main thing here. This is the display case that took so long to uh, put up. We will start up from the top here. So up here in the top, we've got the two Mosasaurs. You can't really see that one back there, but it's there. And we've got some Dr. Pepper cans from the Jurassic World Dominion uh, thing. Uh, and then we've got my gymnastics trophy in the middle. And then there's more down there. You can't really see it. Um, unfortunately, the Atrociraptor can got damaged. So I don't have that one anymore. Um, I do have one, but I don't know where it is. I've got an extra. I, I don't know what in the world happened to it. Um, but down here... Um, we have the Jurassic Park shelf. Here, let me get over there. So, in here, we have all of my Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park stuff. We have the young T-Rex and the Utah Raptors, some of the big ones. Got some other smaller figures down here. You can see we got the Stylophosaurus right here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Jurassic Park shelf here. Got the light up there. Um, oh, I guess we shouldn't close it quite yet, because this, this is personally my favorite shelf, because I'm a huge fan of the Chaos Effect series, and these are all my Chaos Effect figures, and I've got the whole shelf just for them. So, here we've got Paradynamicus, Velociopteryx, uh, Ultimosaurus, uh, and Chylogranodon down there, and Comstignathus, and, uh, Stegospinus. So yeah, those are all my Chaos Effect figures. Um, I actually have the Encala on, on a, uh, Amber Collection stand because I thought, you know, it fits perfectly and I thought it turned out to be pretty good. There, back there, see Ultimosaurus face right there. Um, this Velociopteryx always falls down because if you can't, you can't really see it, but its feet are actually, one is higher than the other, so it always falls down and it frustrates me so much because it all, like if you just lightly touch it it falls down <laughs> and then we've got oh dear the base of the mesozoic shelf um yeah so yeah these are the base of the mesozoic figures if you basically just if you breathe they will fall down i could not get them to stand up so they are just in a pile i don't have their stands because that would make such a mess and also i've lost a lot of their stands um but i do have utah Rannis right here so and, oh and there's a sedacosaurus back there so yeah, that's basically the uh, Visa Mesozoic BOTM shelf. 
Uh, so that's it for the top case here. Move my chair over. So down here, we have some other shelves. This is what I like to call the rare slash unique and interesting stuff. I know, a very long name. Uh, but we've got some rare things in here. And it's also just random unique things that I found um, over the years. So basically, we've got the post to suitcase. This is the Primal Attack series, I think. Yeah. Oh, this one fell over. And we've got the two metallic captives. The they say they're ultra rare, but like when the the Giganotosaurus first came out, like everyone was finding these like everywhere. So I don't really believe that they're that rare. Now the T Rex, I don't know really. That was one of the first ones that I got. Um, so yeah, I've got the two metallic captives. Um, we've got the Carnoraptor. I don't know if this one's particularly rare, but it it's kind of hard to find like they're kind of hard to get so i put it in there just uh to add it in there same with these like the giganosaurus and the t-rex sound surge things so like these they're not particularly rare but they're so rare in some places like so if you're in the u.s you couldn't find them hardly ever uh, because, like, the Sound Surge, the whole line never really released. They're all in Mexico and stuff. Like, you could never, you would have to actually, like, go to Mexico to find it. The only place you could get them in the U.S. was Kohl's. And sometimes you can order them offline. Uh, but the, other than that, that's pretty much it. I got these at Kohl's, actually. So, yeah. Um, pretty cool. It came in a two-pack set. Um, I think their batteries are out, actually. Yeah, I took their batteries out because... They were annoying. <laughs> they kept, because I had them in this bin, and then they kept going off because things kept shifting, and like it went off in the middle of the night. Uh, we got this thing. This thing was also a Kohl's exclusive. Um, it came in a pack, like back when the Fallen Kingdom first came out. This red raptor with no hands because of my dumb geese. Uh, they chewed them off because I, I literally left it outside for two seconds, and I came back, and its arms are chewed off by some geese with its tail. Like, what in the- why? This doesn't look like food! I just was, like, doing a stop motion with it. Well, can't do that anymore, because its arms are gone. So I actually found this one at the thrift store. I can never- it's hard to find. You can- you could, like, get the pack. The, like, I think it came with, like, some compies, a oh, Gallimimus, this raptor, and Owen. Like, you can never find them, because it was a Kohl's exclusive. Um... And this thing, this thing I found at a thrift store, it's like a wax figure of, like, a T-Rex. I think it's a replica of something. I don't really remember. Uh, it was a while ago. I, so, yeah, I found it at a thrift store for 25 cents. So, you're like, yeah, I'm getting that because that's pretty cool. I've never seen something like that before. I think maybe, like, it came from a museum or something. Um, this, this is my... One of my favorite things that I have in my collection. This is my, um, my Destructosaurs, um, uh, Velociraptor. This one, this is, like, the whole Destructosaurs line is hard to find because they were, like, originally going to be Toys R Us exclusive, which, like, I think at the time that they were released that there was only a few Toys R Uses left. Which is really sad because I used to, I loved Toys R Us as a kid. I would love going to to Toys R Us. Whenever I was at my grandparents, I would beg them to go to Toys R Us because there was one close. There was never one close to where like I lived. Uh, but yeah, and it was it was good times back then. Um, but yeah, uh, we all know what happened to Toys R Us. So they kind of were a limited supply of these. They weren't really that many. They kind of really, I think they kind of released online. I think, I think maybe Toys R Us has like an online and I think Mattel kind of, I don't really, re, I don't really like remember everything. But it comes with this cage, the Velociraptor and a Microceratus. So it's got like a magnet in its mouth. So you kind of like stick it to that and it pulls up the cage and lets out the Microceratus. So pretty cool. Um, here's my Hammond collection slash Amber collection shelf. We got the Velociraptor, the Pteranodon, Baryonyx, Concavenator, and way back in the back, we've got the Dimorphodon that everyone forgets ever exists. And there's this one here. And this is what I like to call the event exclusive shelf. 
yeah, you probably wouldn't get it. Unless you unless you play Jurassic World Alive, you wouldn't get it. But yeah. Um, let me know if you got that in the comments. Um, yeah. So this, uh, these are things that came from events, like Jurassic events that happened that I went to and I got the uh, stuff. So this, this is the Jurassic World Live Tour. Uh, throw it on plush. This is Jeannie, I think is her name. Um, pretty cool. And then there's this Tyrannosaurus. Somehow I actually went to the live tour two times. I don't know how in the world it actually, like how in the world did that happen? But it did, and I'm very lucky to have that. I'm very, um, yeah, I'm really, really lucky to have that happen. Um, I didn't get that much. I only got one every time. So I've got this, and I've got this T-Rex. And then these, these came in the Jurassic World exhibition, um, thing. That we went to, like, a long time ago. Um, so yeah, they got Nominus, T-Rex, Blue, uh, Stegosaurus. Turned on a stitchy moloch that does not stand up. Um, yeah, these things are pretty cool. They came from the Jurassic World exhibition. I actually think the T Rex and the Indominus, <laughs> the Indominus and the Blue, I think they were actually part of a Universal exclusive pack at one point, and they just reused them and added a few more species. But that's pretty cool. That's the display case. That's. That's everything in it, actually, so, yeah, um, now let's take a look at this thing here, so, over here I got the pile of unorganized stuff and the mask that I used for the thumbnail, um, here we've got the pterosaurs, and we've got some marine reptiles, and then we've got some non-dinosaurs down here, um, so yeah. And then this is my candy stash, my secret candy stash. No, you cannot have any. Don't. No, it's all mine. No, I don't share with people. Actually, actually I do. <laughs> yeah, you can't have any, okay? It's all mine. Uh, and then, finally, we get up to this shelf. This is my big main shelf that I put all of my smaller figures on. And then this thing right here, I've got my two big... Jurassic Park T-Rexes. I've got the Quetzalcoatlus from the Jurassic Park line. And then I've got uh, the uh, 30th anniversary figures. And I've got this special Miragaya that uh, you're probably wondering why it's so special. It's my parents brought it back from Florida one year. I don't remember exactly what they were doing. But yeah, um, it, it's been beat up and played with so much. And I don't know how it, it's in such a good condition. I don't know. Like, wow, like, I cannot believe that it's still in good condition. And I've got some books here, some magazines, too. Uh, yeah, uh, and we got a ship right there. If you didn't know, I'm actually a big fan of Star Trek. You probably didn't know because I only made one video on my channel ever. <laughs> but, yeah, um, we've got the Delta Flyer right here, and I've also got a shuttle hanging from here. So, pretty cool. Um... The dinosaurs here, we've got some smaller figures, some of, like, the basic, like, they used to be called the Pack Packs, but now I forget what they're called because they change their names all the time. And we've got, like, the Savage Strike, uh, again, what they used to be called. I, I don't, I never remember. They're, like, Fierce something. I don't, I don't remember, to be honest. Um, some Snap Squads and some smaller figures. Um... Got lots of Velociraptors, lots of Dromaeosaurs, and then my favorite, we've got Osteoraptor right here. So, such a beautiful figure. It just had feathers. And then Pyroraptors. And then this is my shelf, my display, um, showing the Hammond Collection T-Rex, and it got some lights around it. <clears throat> this goofy flying Velociraptor. It was supposed to be like... <laughs> for the, the like, final scene where the T-Rex is throwing off all the raptors from it. And this one, it, it just looks funny now. It, it just looks silly. Got another raptor down there. Some other figures. Pretty cool. And then if I jump down here, uh, you can see this whole shelf right here. So, starting up at the top here, we've got some um, ornaments. Christmas tree ornaments that I kept out because I think they would look cool there. Up blue and beta. Um, here we have <clears throat> the hybrids. We've got Indoraptors and Scorpius Rex. 
Uh, we got the Spinosaurus shelf here. Um, so we've got Spinosauruses, and he's holding my bracelets that my, my friends made. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. Um, uh, but he's very helpful. And we've got some other Spinosaurus here. We've got the Tyrannosaurus here. Um, and a Tarbosaurus. We've got, like, medium theropods right here. Uh, they're kind of jammed in there because I, I don't, don't have enough room for all of them. And then we've got some herbivores down here and some random, <laughs> we've got some random carnivores like this uh, Megaraptor and the, the Rajasaurus. I just put them there because I didn't have any room. So we've got Fairy right here. And this final bottom shelf is so dusty because, but the litter box is right there. <laughs> you don't want to see that, but... Um, so it gets so dusty back here, and I have, I would literally have to sweep it out daily if I wanted to keep it clean. Um, but I don't do that because I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, we've got Alpha Training Blue back there. Probably the most expensive thing I have in my collection. And we got whatever this abomination is. Um, but yeah. Oh, and here, um, this is my main wall and like... This is my dresser that I keep all my clothes in, but it's also my dresser slash YouTube uh, desk slash drawing area slash TV. <laughs> yeah, I basically use it for everything. I've got this little, uh, I think this is a Schleich Spino. Yeah, it's a Schleich Spino peeking out from back behind there. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is where I make all my videos, so pretty cool. I've got... On the wall here, we've got a Delta that I painted a long time ago that I really like. It's Kim Cretaceous inspired, if you couldn't tell. Um, cause I really like Delta. Delta's my favorite one of the Raptor Squad. Um, but I really like the Camp Cretaceous color scheme. It looks really cool, so I use it. <clears throat> Here's a picture that my friend made me. Another picture that my friend made me. A uh, place that my TV will go at some point. Uh, I just have to remember to do it. <clears throat> and then back here is where I keep all my stuff. So, I've got drawing supplies. We've got a measuring tape that I use to measure the figures for, for videos. Um, another random stuff back here. We've got my gummies that I always eat. Uh, just kidding. It's actually wall packs. <laughs> Don't eat those. And then the TV remote and some slime and stuff. And then and there's this thing I found at Dollar Tree. So you can like just squish it. If, you like, if you're feeling angry, you just like squish it. Like if you're really angry at something, you just need to squish something. You can squish that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got these stickers. I don't know what I'm going to do with these stickers. They're pretty cool though. Um, the spino keeps falling down. But yeah, that's that's that. I think we're done with this wall now. We've got a few things on the ceiling here. We've got this thing that always gets in my way. And then this <laughs> this pteranodon that's looking out the window. But that, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Uh, here's my bed. Uh, I already showed you. There's my cat. Hi there. Uh, and then my stuffed animals that get shoved in the corner because no one likes them. Um, I made my bed for the first time in the year. Because for this video. Because it, it, yeah. <laughs> Down here, uh, this is, actually, I think I'll go over here first. This is the pile of stuff that I haven't gone through. It's just kind of stuff. <laughs> here's all my drawings. There's the Psilosaurus. Uh, actually, here's a Carnotaurus that I drew. Pretty cool. I didn't make a video on that because I was, I don't remember where I drew it at, but I wasn't at home and I drew it for fun. Stop. Well, stop falling. Okay? Stay. Okay. Um, over here, we've got some herbivores here, and this book, so this book, <laughs> this book I've had for years, like, literally, I cannot remember not having this book. Before, I was, like, like, as a kid, I really, like, I like my little pony, I know. Uh, <laughs> I was a kid, okay? Um, but yeah, so I collected them, and you could kind of say that's what got me into collecting, um, because it is, I guess, and I just put all their collector cards in here, and I don't care about them anymore. And now, I've started the Beast of the Mesozoic, um, thing. So, yeah, we've got all the raptors that I kept their collector cards and kept track of. Um, and here, we've got Sephactosaurus and, um, Utyrannus. And then here, we have the captive Spinosaurus. Does it have anything on the back? Um, 
Yeah, it's stuck. I don't know why it's stuck in there. <clears throat> then we've got this thing, which <clears throat> this is a Jurassic Park collector card that came with that Utah Raptor back there. And it's still, it's like in this case and it's such in such good condition. Like it's in a case within a case because it's really special. So yeah, pretty cool. That's, that's that thing. Um, here we have um, some things like a goose and some <clears throat> glass birds that my grandparents gave me. Nothing really that special. Uh, the goose is very special though. Um, uh, no, that's a for uh, that's a story for something else. <laughs> um, a very long story actually. <laughs> how I got that. Um, here we have some Hasbro minis back in the back here. Got this Spinosaurus. What was that? A Metroidcanthosaurus just attacked me. Um, and you've got the captives. All these captives. This is my most prized captive here. This thing is my headless Stygimolic. I got this, and I'm not even joking. It didn't come with a head. I'm, like, I, it's not, it's not like I just lost it. It literally came with no head. I have a video unboxing these. I don't remember what video it was, but go watch all my captives unboxings, and you'll eventually find it. I literally opened it, and it had no head. I don't know how that happens, how rare of a, like, like, how did that happen? But yeah, that's all my captives, and some Hasbro minis, and for some reason, uh, Mattel Stegosaurus, it should be over here. Um, yeah, this is my Mattel, my Mattel shelf. So, we've got the micro collection back here. Um, we've got some other minis and stuff back there. And we got the gate here that came in the advent calendar. And then over here we just got some extra pieces we got from Beast and Mesozoic stuff. We got the rest of the fencing for this. <clears throat> and then all the other stuff is just kind of, there's Lego pieces and things. That, yeah. Um, but now, now we can look at this stuff. We will start over here. So, over here, this is kind of just stuff that is just random special stuff to me so got some a few attack pack figures that are in the box pretty cool we've got some micros that are in the box um we got this fish that i think my parents brought back from like a vacation or something and we've got this a safari ltd uh anzu that i really like i think it's really cool it's one, probably one of my favorite safari ltd figures uh, and then we got the Archaeopteryx, of course, my favorite dinosaur. Um, and then we have this creeper. I don't, I think I got this. I think it was on a shirt. It says only at Target. So yeah, I think I got it on a shirt. <laughs> I thought it was cool back when I played Minecraft. Remember when I played Minecraft? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, probably not because I literally played it for like, what, two videos? I mean, I played it, but I never made videos on it. Uh, here we've got the Starship Voyager. It's like a model thing. Pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got a foot from a raptor that I need to glue back on. I just put it there because I didn't know where else to do it. We've got this, like, cube thing. So, like, you take it apart. Here, um, it's hard to do with one hand. Um, yeah, I can't. So you just, like, kind of take it apart and then get it back into like a rubik's cube i guess but it, it's cooler it's got like magnets you can make little shapes from it um here we've got enterprise oh there it is that uh here just kind of chilling there some other random stuff back there and here here's my indominus rex shelf we've got all the indominuses i think i have all the indominuses that they've ever no actually not i missing a few hasbro indominuses but i've got all the mattel ones here um here uh, this is actually my favorite Indominus. These two, the Mattel and the Hasbro one. Yes, Hasbro made something that I like. I really like this one. It's really fun. And then this one is just a really high quality figure. Oh, and then we got this thing. This absolute abomination that Hasbro made. This disgusting creature that should never exist. Okay, I'm being so mean to it, but seriously, it looks... This one is in really bad condition. <laughs> But I need to get a better one. But yeah, it's it looks terrible. Um, we got some random Safari LTD and Schleich figures up here. I've uh, got the 30th anniversary T-Rex. 
Got the Dreadnoughtus and the Apatosaurus right there. Got the Raptor Squad, the Hasbro Raptor Squad. And they got this thing. This is like a, it's called Cave Club, I think. It's like basically if My Little Ponies and Dinosaurs were mixed together. It, it was pretty, uh, it's a weird like concept, but it was pretty fun. Like, I think it got discontinued, but I I got a few of them, and I think they're kind of cool. They're like girly dinosaurs. They've got hair. It's pretty weird. I That is not uh, scientifically accurate at all. But I think this is a Tyrannosaurus. Um, pretty interesting. It's got like a thing on its back, and you open its mouth. Um, I remember unboxing this, actually. Um, yeah, so go check that out, I guess, if you want. And on the bottom shelf, we've got um, the Super Colossals. We've got the T-Rex, the original Super Colossal. We've got the um, uh, Giganotosaurus. <laughs> we have the Indominus Rex. And then my custom Indominus Rex, which is actually an Indoraptor. I have, I recently made a video customizing it and like fixing it up. So go check that out too. Oh, and this thing. So you, pro you might not know what this is. Because I've, I've heard that they're really rare. Because, so basically, this is, Mattel made a series called the STEM Collection. And basically, it was kind of like this. There was these things, and then there was also, like, skeletons. I don't know if, like, they, like, discontinued it after Fallen Kingdom. Like, the first wave. But I really like them. Like, I don't know if these didn't sell good. But I really like them. I think they're really cool. I think it's a really fun idea. They kind of come to find like, like this kind of stuff, like the bones and everything with like an actual fun, playable toy. Um, as you can see here, uh, I, I am, I hate myself for this because I broke it. I actually, I don't, actually I didn't break it. I just lost all the pieces. So as you can see, all the skin covers, the, the leg, the arm and everything, even part of the tail. I don't know how to have that came off so yeah basically this thing has several oh yeah and then dna key also is missing so yeah this has several features here um there you would put the dna key it would open its mouth um there's also one here that would make it breathe because like this is squishy and uh, i could probably find like a screwdriver and do it but i'm not gonna do that right now and this one if you turned it, it made its leg move, and, like, it had muscle covering it, so it looked pretty cool. Like, can Mattel bring that back? Because I want to get another one, but these are so expensive now, because they, they're, like I said, they're kind of rare. Like, they didn't release in stores, and, like, they weren't just, like, I want it back. Like, I, I am I the only one that liked the STEM collection? I thought it was cool, like, the skeletons, and, like, there wasn't very many. <clears throat> But I saw them on sale a lot, so maybe that's why, like, they just didn't sell good. I would take them. I like them. Then we got a Schleich T-Rex that is broken. And then I got this Coelophysis, and I think this, it's an Imperial figure. I found this at the thrift store a while ago now, and I've not really seen it ever, so that's pretty interesting. It's an older figure. What year is it? It's, uh, it doesn't say, actually, you know. Made in China, China, Seal of Isis. Uh, but yeah. Pretty cool figure. Um, yeah, that's pretty, oh, we've got Roboraptor here. Um, here we've got this Brachiosaurus, uh, a failed attempt at a custom. This, this absolute abomination, uh, here, let me see if I can show you what this thing does. So, uh, when you first see it, it looks like a uh, cheap dinosaur that tried to look like a snap squad, but if you look at it, it's actually fully articulated, which is funny. So, if you pull off its tail, it's a pencil! So, if you snap that back in, it's also a pencil sharpener and a ruler. And, if you open its belly, it's also a stapler. So, pretty interesting thing. I, I don't know, it's just weird thing that I got. Oh, uh, but yeah. I got some stuff that's unorganized over here. I got my <laughs> my blow dryer, but you can't guess what I use that for. Yeah, that's right. I use it for drying paint. Uh, this, I got some boxes here. Uh, a while ago, probably a year or two ago, I made a video just unboxing a bunch of captives, and I still have this box. I think it's cool. 
And then I've got this. I actually just added this because this is for 4th of July. It's a firework box. So I thought it was cool because it's a raptor thing. It, it doesn't look like a raptor. It looks more like a dragon though. Another failed attempt at a custom, but yeah, and there's my shoes. <laughs> there's nothing really interesting about that. But yeah, that's my whole collection. I know this was a very long video, but a very unique one. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Because this, like I said, this took so long to put together and make that I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure to like the video and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.